of all, coca leaves for coca tea should be good for the height. Okay, just leaving Yonge here. This is Lasso de Armas. Yonge. Now it's beginning to have like a flashback to the uh, mountain. Uh, because it's like road conditions. Now it's a bit, beginning to be a bit more like travel. Okay, July the 12th, 2024. This is the day the adventure starts for us here in Peru. Today we're heading into the Cordilla Blanca mountain range, which means a white, well, a white mountain range. She has six of the highest peaks in Peru in this uh, in this mountain range here. So setting off early today, or as early as we can here, yeah. and uh, have to climb from here yeah, in the town of Yonge. Have to climb from 2,500 meters to 3,900 meters. If we get there today, that will be the highest we've ever climbed in in one day. But I'm not sure whether we can get there today. If we can, there's a, a lake at the top where we can camp. But, uh, let's see how it goes here. We're not sure what speed we can do here in Peru. But uh, we have to set a day here to acclimatize yesterday, but maybe not enough. But uh, we'll see how it goes. But, uh, Surely going to see some wild mountains today. That's yeah. <laughs> We've now climbed the first 100 meters in altitude. 1,300 to go. And Jamie's already setting the pace there. He loves climbing these mountains. We're doing about five kilometers an hour, roughly. Uh, keep that up, that's a good pace on these hills with the baggage. It'll be about six hours riding time. Okay, if you're wondering about the weather and the temperature, Feels probably about 23 degrees. Not a glorious day of sunshine and uh, pretty much no wind at all. So it's uh, perfect uh, cycling conditions at the moment here as we make our way up the mountain. We're at 2,800 now. 2,800. Yeah? Going well? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well done. Mirador, it's a viewpoint, and you're not joking. You see why they call it a viewpoint. This part is extremely steep. You have a strong son. Yeah, well done, Jamie. <laughs> I'm completely stuck. We just passed 3,000 meters. So here we have a great view of two of the highest mountain peaks in Peru. Here we have Wandoi, and here we have Mascaran here, this huge mighty mountain there that's just towering above us now. What an incredible view we have here. Not long to go, it's lunchtime. Why would we leave this, I think? So, so we can stay here for lunch. Does it look okay, Jamie? I'm not just running out of energy. That's good, it's lunchtime. That's good, it's lunchtime. Time oh, for a rest. I hope we can get some food here and have a break. 
I'm doing well though. So, it didn't take long for us to get completely dusty, dirty on these roads. The cars that come by, they just create a lot of dust. But, uh, yeah, now we're at 3,226 meters. Pretty close to the highest we've ever been, which was in uh, Kyrgyzstan back in 2018. So we just have a rest now. Our legs are going to be tired and uh, have something to eat. And then let's carry on this afternoon. You even wash the dust off your hands here. And uh, we're going to sit there and have our lunch. Good place, yeah. It looks like they're cooking there. We have the cutest waitresses we've ever seen. She's coming with somebody's order. Somebody's lunch cooking here. And she'll be out. That's the kitchen. This is what we managed to get here in the mountains, chicken and chips with rice. And of course, Inca Cola. For the last energy for the next part of the trip. We're rolling here again after lunch. A bit later than I expected, it's now 3 o'clock in the afternoon. We've got 10 kilometers till we get to the first lake. So uh, it'll be about 2 hours riding time. 3,400 now. This is the highest we've ever been and starting to feel the altitude now. But, uh, Jamie's a strong guy so he's taken Meta's rear bag with a sleeping bag in. That helps. I'll be moving pretty good speed now. But uh, yeah, now we're starting to feel tired the altitude. I just hope we're not going up too high too soon that we get altitude sickness in it with a headache and uh, not feeling too well for a day or two. But uh, we just stopped, had a bit of a team meeting. Jamie wants to carry on, but of course he's not got any problems really in the altitude. Me and Meadow are struggling a bit now. But uh, yeah, he's two uh, strong guys and girls. Oh. Let's see. Still be coming to the entrance to the national park. So. Uh, 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 that helps with a bit of support. Just when you have a bit of a hard moment. <laughs> Ready to the entrance here. Park National Huskaran. This is what we came for. We just have to pay a fee here. I think it's 30 solace I can see there. To, uh, to enter the national park, so... Okay. Go and see if there's somebody there. Yeah. Okay, ticket office was actually closed there to the entrance to the national park, so we just uh, been thinking what to do, whether we actually could camp there at the ticket office, but the security camera is set up there, so we decided just to go back down the hill, just uh, I think one and a half kilometers to a hotel campsite that we saw as we came up earlier. So it's a bit of a shame we were planning to go up to the lake today, but we're not gonna risk going into the national park without a ticket. So this is the restaurant we're gonna eat tonight. And we are camping up here. And it's amazing. It's We found uh, the guy told us that we could uh, sleep here on this green spot here behind the restaurant. And the funny thing is that uh, there's what do we call the picnic camping? <laughs> so now I'm gonna show you why. This is the pics. You can see here. Yeah. Oh, what the pigment game is it? Okay, what? What? What is it? What? Wow. How was it in there? Okay, so we just come two kilometers back down the road here to this. Uh, it's actually a campsite, it says on the sign. So we just paid uh, three pounds to stay here the night. And uh, yeah, probably a good idea. I think getting a bit lightheaded just uh, putting the tent up over there. So probably a good idea. I think we stay here tonight and uh, have a night in our tent. That would be great. But, 
can even have dinner in the restaurant there shortly. So uh, yeah, then in the morning we'll get up early, go back to the ticket office. Hopefully it will be open this time and we'll cycle 500 meters more up to uh, the lakes. This is where I've been uh, wanting to visit for a few years. I've been looking on the map at these lakes, so uh, it looks like a pretty amazing place. So uh, I'm pleased we can, yeah, probably have more time tomorrow now. It would have been a bit of a rush if we went up there now. So we would have got there late and it goes dark here at just about six o'clock. So we would have got up there and it would have been, wouldn't have been dark, we would have been a bit rushed. So yeah, something else has decided where we should stay this evening. So we'll stay here, have a nice evening. Get in the tent, sleep in the tent, nice dinner, and get back on the road, carrying up the mountain tomorrow. Well, that was great with the shower, get all the dust off. <laughs> some fish. Where does the fish come from, Jamie? It's from the lake we are going to tomorrow. Wow, that's probably tastes so good then. It's trout. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's amazing light now upon the sunset. Okay, 7.30. <laughs> We're in the tent. <laughs> and in bed. And I'm going to bed now. It's uh, still got jet lag. And uh, it's completely dark outside, so there's no point there. Uh, can't really do anything outside. All the restaurant is closed, the owners have gone home, so it's and just it's, us. And it's cold. You think you got enough clothes on? <laughs> in here in the tent is quite okay, but I've got my skiing underwear and woolen socks and something around my neck and my Peru hat and everything, so I hope I can be warm enough. We'll see. Yeah. Let you know in the morning. Yeah. <laughs> okay, everybody, good night. We're good night. in our tent again, which we <laughs> really like.